Okay, for the answers for the exercise 9 BOM applied, you'll use pretty much all the tools of hiding objects, using the section, uh, using the find feature to find uh, the different quantities that we ask for in the uh, exercise 9. So if we go over the answers, like the first question is how much brick does the first floor model have? I'll select a first floor brick area. I could also use the find. But if I select one brick wall, we see that we have 1,334 square feet of brick on the first floor. If I selected the second floor brick, we can see that we have 1,037 square feet of brick on the second floor. Now another question is, how many 8 foot 8 and 5 8 inch studs do we have on the first floor? Well, I want to make sure to drill down to just my structural members. I'm going to minimize all these objects and right mouse click on the structural member uh, model. Hide everything else but my structural member so I can just see my sticks. And I can pick out one of these sticks and I see that I have 222 uh, 8 foot 8 and 5, uh, 8 foot 8 and a half inch studs on my first floor. Another question is, what kind of header is above the garage door? I can select one of these headers and I see that I have a uh, three and a half by eleven and a quarter LVL over my first floor garage. And another question is, what kind of header is above the door between the master bedroom and the master bath? So we might need to look at our original set of construction documents just to make sure that we know where the uh, room that we're talking about so the header above the master bedroom and master bath so okay here's my second floor I have a master bedroom and I have a master bath I have a door in between it and it has a header and so if I want to navigate my model well it's kinda of hard to see through all these sticks so what I'll do is I'll go to my tools I can use this XZ section and I can move that up probably beneath my frame and can now I can see that I have two uh, what are these two, two by sixes of a header at that door there uh, if I have a, a garage a garbage disposal in my grid data well I'm not exactly sure what the list of it is so I'm gonna use my find and I'll just type in garbage and I found a garbage disposal and if I select that it see I see that I have a garbage disposal I'm gonna show all my objects and get rid of my cross section turn off that cross section and so if I select this garbage disposal and I right mouse click I can hide everything else but the garbage disposal and it happens to be attached to my sink so uh, the modeler didn't model a garage uh, in the garage a garbage disposal but they did model a sink a kitchen sink and so every time they have that kitchen sink they order a uh, garbage disposal the last uh, number seven in the exercise is find the location of the two four six eight uh, single left hand swinging door on the first floor so what I'll do is I'll uh, turn off mm, let me scroll up here let me turn on everything show all objects uh, let me turn on the structural members and maybe the doors and I'll hide uh, everything else but my doors and my uh, house so if I'm dealing with just my first floor well then I can e again use my Z my XZ section move that down to just my first floor so I can see the walls and the first floor and then I could either just pick on them one by one to find the door. Okay, that's a pair. That is a uh, 2868. Or I could just see this 
uh, 2420. Maybe I need the 2468 left handed door on the first floor. So that is the door that I'm looking for, and that one is underneath the stairs next to my kitchen. And so using the hiding features, using the sections, using the find, you can find different parts of the model and verify your BOM of where something is located in the model.